problems involving limits can be done in two ways. Now, if you can recognize the way this is set up, this is actually a definition of the derivative. So we have some a 4 plus h minus ln 4. So in this case, this would represent the rise. And then h would be the run. And so this is a definition of the derivative. And if we let h go to 0, we can find the slope at a particular point. In this case, the point is going to be when x is equal to 4. Okay. So if this is the case, we can then, if you recognize this, then what we can say then is this is actually the derivative of log. So this is uh, going to be a 1 over x function, and the slope is going to be when x is equal to 4, so it's going to be equal to 1 quarter. So that's one way this could be done, is if we recognize this. Now, if you don't, this still can be done using L'Hopital's. Okay, because it does satisfy the condition. So if I actually plug in h is 0, I'm going to end up with log 4 minus log 4 over h, and that's going to be equal to 0 over 0. So maybe I should write this out properly. Log 4 plus h. Okay, and this is going to, when I actually work out the limit of this, I'm going to end up with log 4 minus log 4, which is 0, all over 0. So there's our 0 over 0 condition. Okay, so now we have the condition to be able to apply L'Hopital's rule. So applying L'Hopital's, I'm going to end up with a new expression. So I end up with limit as h approaches 0. The derivative of the numerator is going to be a log function. So 1 over 4 plus h minus derivative of log 4. Now, it's really important that you recognize that this is a constant. It's a number. So when we differentiate it, it differentiates to 0. Okay, now... One of the main mistakes I would see in this is people differentiating the log 4 as 1 over 4. So we don't want to do that. So once we recognize that that's a constant, we differentiate it to 0. And the h differentiates to 1. We can plug in h is 0. And we end up with our the limit being equal to 1 over 4, which is the same as what we got from the definition of derivative. So the same thing is happening in example 6. We have this expression. It's going to be uh, pi over 8 plus h. Okay, so this is works out to actually be 2 pi over 8, or 8, which is pi over 4. So that represents the same coordinate. And we have 2h in the, in the expression divided by h and limit as h goes to 0. Now, this looks like it could, we could probably work it out to be tan, the derivative of tan and evaluating this at the value x equals 4. So if we recognize that, we know that this is going to be secant squared and being evaluated at pi over 4. So secant squared is going to be root 2. And then root 2, to, root two squared gives us a value of 2. So again, if we don't recognize that and we just try to evaluate it, we're going to evaluate this expression. I'm just going to move this over a bit. Okay, we can evaluate this expression by plugging in h is 0. So if we plug in h is 0, we get tan of pi over 4 minus tan pi over 4. And then let h go to 0. There's our condition for L'Hopital's. Okay, so applying L'Hopital's then. So applying L'Hopital's, we're going to differentiate this expression. So limit as h approaches 0, the derivative of tan is going to be secant. So we end up with secant squared okay, of 
2 pi over 8 plus h. Okay, put the bracket in the wrong spot there. And then because of that, because of that extra times 2, we need to make sure we apply the chain rule. And then minus 0, the derivative of that expression, is going to be 0, okay, because it is a constant. And then divide it by 1. And when I plug in my h is 0, I can then evaluate this expression. And so I get secant squared of pi over 4. So we end up with secant. So secant squared of 2 times pi over 8, which works out to be pi over 4. So that gives us the value, the limit equaling 2, just like I had if I had recognized that this is the definition of the derivative. Okay, so either situation will work. If you can recognize the definition of derivative expression, then it is a little bit quicker to be able to get go directly to the derivative value at that point. For number seven, in limits involving notation, we may have to differentiate notation and apply in, while applying uh, L'Hopital's rule or limits. So in this case, h is a twi twice differentiable function. So this is smooth and continuous, and its derivative is also smooth and continuous. And it is h of x is equal to x squared minus 4 over 1 minus f of x all cubed. And it is all twice dif differentiable except for x not equal to 2. Okay, so we cannot evaluate that. this not differentiable at x equals 2. So it's known that the limit of h of x going to 2 can be evaluated using L'Hopital's rule. So that's telling us something here. Okay, so what that's telling us is when we try to do a limit at h is 2, we should end up with the condition for L'Hopital's rule. So we're going to generate then, this must generate a 0 over 0 condition. Okay, so we want to use this information then to find f of 2. So in this case here, this we have an h value at 2, but it's not differentiable at 2. So it might be a kink or something like that. But we want to use this fact that, and the fact that L'Hopital's rule can be used on that expression to find f of 2. So what we have then is, we're going to make this equal to, so we're going to say that the limit of this expression and that is x squared minus 4 over 1 minus f of x cubed. We know that when we plug in the 2, we should generate a 0 over 0 because we can use L'Hopital's rule on this expression. Okay, well, if that's the case, when I plug 2 into the numerator, I get 2 squared minus 4, which is 0, and that's consistent. Okay, 2 squared minus 4 equals 0. But we should also get this result, 1 minus f of x squared when x is 2, or 1 minus f of 2 cubed, sorry, this is cubed, 1 minus f of 2 cubed must also equal to 0 because it generates the condition for L'Hopital's. So this is an equation that I'm going to come up with. I'm going to say that 1 minus, 1 minus f of 2 all cubed is equal to 0. While well, solving this equation, f of 2 cubed is equal to 1. So f of 2 must be equal to 1. Okay, so there is our solution to that portion based on generating an equation on the L'Hopital's rule of the denominator equaling 0. Part two of this says use the fact that h of 2 is equal to 4. So although it's not differentiable at 2, it does have a coordinate, and the coordinate is equal to 4. 
and we're going to use that fact to find the, the f prime value or the slope at 2. Okay, so we know that when we plug it in, we should get 4, a value of 4. But when we differentiate this, we want to find f prime. So we need to generate an f prime expression. And we're going to do that by using the fact that when we do apply L'Hopital's rule, the limit equals 4. So it looks like this. So I have the condition for L'Hopital. So I know when I plug in 2, I'm going to get 0 divided by 0. And so I know that because of that condition, when I plug in 2, okay, uh, so when I plug in 2, it's hard to show the way I've drawn it here, but we know that this, this limit's going to be equal to 0, okay, so we know that we can apply L'Hopital's, and by applying L'Hopital's, we're going to generate the f prime expression, okay, so we end up with this limit as x goes to 2. The derivative of the numerator is 2x. The de derivative of the denominator is 3. f of x squared times, and this is where we're going to generate our derivative, f prime of x using chain rule. Okay, And this is what we want to solve for. We want to solve for f prime when x is 2, and when I apply the limit, we're going to get generate our f prime of 2. Okay, and that's all in the denominator. Get rid of that and let me draw that in a little bit better. That's this is all in the denominator. Okay. So we know that f of 2 is we already figured out what f of 2 is, so I'm just going to highlight that. f of 2 we're going to replace it here. So we're going to evaluate this limit now. 2 times 2 over 3 times f of 2 squared. Times f prime of 2. And we're going to try to solve that. And we know that this limit is going to be equal to four because we know the value at h of two is equal to four so that must be the limit because we know that it is continuous through that point because it's twice differentiable so solving this replacing the f of two with one so i end up with an equation that looks like this four over three times f of two which is one We get 3 times f of 2, which is 1 squared, times f prime of 4, which I'm going to, f prime of 2, which I'm going to put to the other side of the equation, f prime of 2, and then I'm going to bring that 4 down into the denominator, and then I can just evaluate that. Okay, so those are, we have some things that cancel out here. Cancel those out. So we end up with f prime of 2 is going to work out to be equal to, looks like 1 over 3. 